The original Mentors were a controversial punk metal band known for their deliberate shock rock lyrics and outrageous live shows. They formed in Seattle in the late 70s and relocated to Los Angeles a few years later. Founding members Eldon Hoke, a.k.a. El Duce, Eric Carlson, a.k.a. Sicky Wife Beater, and Steve Broy, a.k.a. Dr. Heathen Scum, attended high school together in Seattle and began experimenting together writing punk songs. The Mentors toured the Northwest, playing shows with their trademark Executioner Hoods and idea of El Duce. The Mentors did not achieve true notoriety until the 1985 congressional hearings orchestrated by Tipper Gore's Parents Music Resource Center. The Mentors caught the attention of the PMRC with their song Golden Showers, prompting a reading of some of its lyrics on the congressional floor. Song Golden Showers, which says these words, listen you little slut, do as you are told, come with daddy for me to pour the gold. Golden showers, all through my excrements you shall roam. Bend up and smell my anal vapor. Your face is my toilet paper. On your face I leave a shit tower. Golden showers. Mr. Chairman, right, that concludes my remarks, up. and I thank you. Sorry, your time has expired. <laughs> El Duce was known as the face of the band, giving interviews and even appearing alongside the band Gwar on the Jerry Springer show. The topic, shock rock. What do you want to just say to him? Basically, like I said, I have two sons, a 16-year-old who's sitting in the audience now and a 10-year-old. And because of what I've been through, I don't want that to happen to anybody else. And I try to teach my sons how to be respectful and that sodomizing people do you realize that Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible was destroyed by God because that was wrong? Do you realize that? Hey, I like music, something. but I do not like things that promote violence Listen, against let people. Let me ask you something. When were you raped? I was raped in 70. You look kind of familiar, I'm just saying. No, oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> In the mid-1990s, El Duce made news again when he claimed that Courtney Love had offered him $50,000 to kill her husband, Kurt Cobain, whose death was ruled a suicide. Love denies this. So, and, but you, uh, you did some deal with Courtney, right? Yeah. Well, she offered me 50 grand to whack Kurt Cobain. Yeah, I was telling you. She what? 50 grand to whack Kurt Cobain. In 1997, just days after being interviewed for the documentary film Kurt and Courtney, El Duce died after being struck by a freight train while intoxicated. His death was ruled an accident. Some called it suicide. Others called it murder.